Well, it is the next morning. And looking at it closely right now, with my strong reading glasses, I'm not seeing any difference. There's got to be a difference. Now there's a couple of things I want to mention here. And one of them is that this one here I buffed with the paper. This one I didn't. Maybe in all fairness I should have also buffed this one with the paper. And although the paper towel does seem to you know, feel very, very smooth to the touch, it is abrasive. And it may have helped to polish this down just a little bit more. However, that's just my opinion. And as I've often said, I could be wrong. Now another thing I want to do here, is I want to make a little mark. You know, just, just on the edge here. Cut a little piece off. So we'll know for sure later on that this is the one that was done with the ultra gloss plastic polish. Yeah, there'll be no mistake later. I did notice also that I didn't do eyeballing the center as well as I thought I had. I'm also noticing that when I did turn them down, I made this one a tiny bit smaller than this one. However, I don't think that's going to affect the test here. The idea is to look at it in this area here and look at it in this area here. And I did, when I was doing my micro mesh thing, I did go across, you know, as best I could and do both ends. In other words, the, the whole thing is, in other words, this, this is not done better than this to prove my point or you know what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to do this as fairly as I can here. Now there's something I'd like to make perfectly clear here and that is that I am not in anybody's pocket. I don't know how this uh, test is going to come out and I really don't care. I just want to find out for myself. Um, a few years ago General International here in Canada noticed that I was uh, using a lot of their tools in my videos and uh, they approached me with the idea of would you be able to evaluate something for us and I turned them down for a couple of reasons well mainly it was because at that time I didn't want any added stress and also uh, when you get a, a, say a tool from General and you, they want you to uh, evaluate it. They want you to say something nice about it. And you feel obligated to say something nice about it. Uh, I like to be able to tell it the way it is. So, as I said, uh, I'm not in anybody's pocket here. Now, I'm going to want to be very careful not to uh, have any more rubbing anywhere on these two blanks than absolutely necessary. However, I am going to flat side one side. Reason being is I don't want it rolling around on the stage on my uh, microscope. And if I flat side it, it'll be a little bit more stable. At least that's the plan. Now speaking of general, I wasn't going to mention this. I have, I think, about a dozen machines, all from general. Uh, they're not made by General, but they're painted green and they've got the General label on them and General sells them, so I guess they're from General. Um, yeah, this is the only disappointment. My fellow woodworkers, do not buy this machine or any machine that might be painted the same or a different color rather that looks like this. There's a... It, it, I thought I was going to be getting... Uh, a, a miniature one of these. Uh, for instance, right now, if I want to change the belt on this, I gotta take the table off. What a nuisance. And then there were other little things too, I don't want to go into it right now. Don't buy it.
Now the reason why I was doing the caliper thing is because when this is sitting on the stage, I want to make sure that it was going to be sitting level, so that as I'm rocking it, or rather passing it back and forth, uh, I will be able to keep it in focus. Otherwise, if it's at a bit of an angle, it's going to go in and out of focus. I think you understand. Well, here we go. I actually haven't tried this yet. I hate those phony reenactments where somebody will pretend to be surprised and say something to the effect of, Oh, look, what a surprise. I had no idea. Okay. Uh, another thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to have uh, both of these bright lights coming in from the same side. Rather than having them coming like this, I'll have them both coming in from one side. So it will cast shadows on the, on the bumps, um, on the grooves. Uh, kind of like the way I did when I did the Laguna Risa King uh, review. Um, anyway, let's, let's see what we can do here. Now, get it in focus. We are right over top of the uh, one that I did micro mesh only. And I'm hoping this is going to come into focus here. It's set at about 100 power. That is 100 power if I was to look at it through my eye. Okay, and we'll try and get our light adjusted right. This may or may not work. Whoops. If I can get that really bright, high intensity light right underneath the, underneath the objective there. Why am I not seeing the surface? Okay, I'm going to uh, pause here. And I'm going to take this thing and I'm going to glue it to a slide. And the slide will mount better in this and then it won't be sliding around, if you know what I mean. So, bear with me. Okay, we are now focused right on the surface of the one that uh, was done with micro mesh only. And uh, I'm beginning to think that perhaps we're maybe zoomed in just a little bit too close here. Oh, if I turn up my intensity there, that might help a little. There doesn't appear to be any, any major distinguishing uh, features to focus in on. And uh, it could well be that I might have to use this microscope and you're just going to have to take my word for it. I wouldn't lie to you. Now I didn't want to do this, but I've made a little scratch on the surface of each one. That does two things for me. Uh, it gives me something to shine the light on because I can actually see it right now. So I can tell where the light is the brightest. And secondly, it helps me to quickly be able to focus on the surface. Of, of this uh, blank and okay so right now I'm pretty well in focus on the one that we did the polish okay and I'm just gonna slowly move across and see if I can notice any any lines by the way I'm at 100 power that is if I was to look at it through the objectives up here I'm not really noticing any noticeable scratches. There is another way we can do this. Okay, now let's move over to the uh, to the other one here. There we go. Might have to refocus. We'll get we'll find the scratch. Got the wrong glasses on. Okay, here comes the scratch. There it is. I'll refocus. Okay, let's have a little look here now. Uh, 
Now, it might be my imagination, but I am seeing little tiny micro scratches, more so than I did on the one that had the uh, that had the polish. Right now, I'm doing the one that was micro mesh only. Oh no, I'm seeing little scratches in both actually. Okay, I'm going to look at it through this one. And like I say, you just have to take my word for it. Well, just now is actually the first time that I'm looking like this. I can see the uh, little scratches much clearer through this microscope. As I've said before, it's incredibly clear and sharp and um, backed off is minimum power, in other words, is possible here. I'm going to zoom in now to maximum. It's very hard to tell, but uh, offhand I'd just have to say that from what I'm seeing, the uh, well, Wait a minute, maybe my light wasn't quite right here. Take another look. I repeat, it's very hard to tell. They both look almost the same, but it kind of looks as though the one that was micro mesh only has less deep scratches. Uh, uh, <laughs> I would have thought it would be the other way around, but uh, but maybe not. It could be that the grit in that polish is more coarse than the uh, most coarse piece of grit in the micro mesh. Um, there's one more thing I can do. I'm going to stick my macro lens on, and then I'll get it as sharp as I can, <clears throat> and uh, then we'll move the we'll move a light around and get some reflections going there. And uh, that's the best I can do. This has been a bit of a disappointing experiment. I thought it would be more definitive, but it's not. Uh, it's, it's right now. You may as well say it's a tie, leaning slightly towards, <clears throat> excuse me, towards the micro mesh. Anyway, let's get the macro lens on here. This is uh, uh, getting pretty long in the tooth. So what I'm doing now is I'm taking my bright spotlight here. I'm just sort of moving it around. I don't know if this is going to be better or worse. Now when we go through this little slow motion clip here, you're going to see why it is that it's so hard to determine which is the best or the worst. It's pretty much a tie. Well, let's end this undecisive experiment on a happy note. Last night, it was pretty obvious that my watch strap was broken. In fact, I even got a comment on it. And uh, just to let you know that I noticed it last night too, and I fixed it last night. So uh, yeah, we got that done. And uh, this uh, watch, I've had it for a long time. My kids got this for me many, many years ago. In fact, uh, this is the third strap now and all the finish has worn off the watch. Um, but you know, it's a Timex, and like they say, Timex takes a licking and keeps on ticking. Now, of course, this watch doesn't tick, but you know what I mean. Anyway, sorry that it wasn't more decisive. Thanks for watching.